Hey, what's up guys? My name is Alex from Lionspo and I welcome you to my YouTube channel. Today's video is dedicated for DaVinci Resolve Mac users because I was recently editing one of my videos and I realized that my colors were completely off after rendering. I didn't know what to do, so I went through Blackmagic uh, DaVinci Resolve forums. I didn't find any solution, so I went to YouTube and I'd like to shout out for Singularity Films for providing the solution for the problem. There is no way for me to share in it like on social medias, therefore I'm recording this video so I can pass the knowledge further. So without further ado, let's hop in and, and our editing software and I will show you how to do that. First of all, you can already see here I color graded my footage. Of course, colors are completely exaggerated, so you guys can see what I'm actually talking about. And let's go to rendering and let me clean it from here and add false colors, let's say. By the way, those are my rendering settings, you can check it here. And if you go to color management, I'm working in DaVinci Resolve white gamut because I saw a lot of colorists recommending it. There are a lot of benefits for working in it. The problem is that even if you change from here to DaVinci YRGB and here you will uh, change it to Rec 709 or you change it to DaVinci Rec 709 Gamma 2.4, this will not help at all. So let's click, let's add it to render queue, let's click render. And as you can see here, it's like two completely different images. The flowers are less orange and overall it's not that saturated. And let, <laughs> and let me show you the solution. The solution is pretty simple. First, you need to go to DaVinci Resolve preferences. Here you need to go to general and here click on use Mac display color profiles for viewers. Click save. It will prompt the another tab which says that you need to restart DaVinci Resolve. Let's hit OK. And from here we go to our color management. We change to DaVinci YRGB and here we need to check Rec 709 minus A. Singularity film suggests that it stands for Apple. I don't know what it stands for, neither does he. So. Let's click save and as you can see our colors already shifted and let's close our DaVinci Resolve. Voila! As you can see after restarting DaVinci Resolve I didn't touch any colors but color is completely different. So let's again exaggerate our profile. Let's change let's say colors to some different. Let's change our yellow to let's say more saturated yellow let's change hue of our yellow so you can see and let's go to render and let's hit let's name it correct colors let's again add it to render queue and let's hit render and now let me open colors and as you can see how and as you can see here, guys, once again, those images are exactly the same. And this is your solution to the problem. And this is it for the video, guys. Can you imagine all the previous work I did was with a color shift? I thought the problem was with my A6400, I was tweaking colors and nothing didn't help. By the way, now I'm recording on Blackmagic 6K Pro. Please let me know in the comment down below if the image is better than before with my A64. I hope it is because I spent so much money on the camera. I will link the video for Singularity Films down below so you can guys go there and comment on his post and give him a like for all of us. And if it's not too much to ask, I'd really love to have your like here as well. Comment on this post and consider subscribing to my channel. This channel is all about sharing my experience with the beginners filmmakers into the filmmaking world. I share everything I find out for myself exactly step by step how I did it, what I did. And because guys, there are a lot of interesting projects coming up. I already have paid clients and like the further I go, the more interesting the road becomes. And as you can see, I even have goosebumps here. So I'm really excited sharing with the world let's inspire each other let's respect each other there are a lot of interesting creative guys on youtube 
I'd like to share in some of my videos, I'd like to share like the most important channels I found out for myself for color grading and stuff like this. So yeah, see you in the next one. Let's make it not that long anymore. <laughs> and see you in the next one.